Hello folks, part two of Martha Stewart's English Muffins. Alrighty, I must have been comatose yesterday. I just didn't continue on reading the instructions. <laughs> so, yes, the, de the flower was supposed to be left on the top of the bubbly batter. And then I was supposed to... Um, get my electric mixer. D. Well, hello, folks. Part two of Martha Stewart's English Muffins. Uh, I was doing the right thing. I just wasn't reading the rest of the recipe. I don't know if I was comatose last night or yesterday afternoon because I was trying to do two different English muffins in the same day, which was probably a mistake for a 63-year-old. But, hey, what the heck? I could still multitask, not. Anyhow, I continued to read. I left the dough covered in the fridge overnight, and then I brought it out and I continued to read the instructions, which I should have done yesterday, and I would have known I was doing everything properly. I took the dough out of the refrigerator this morning. I added three tablespoons of margarine. I called for butter, but I didn't have any. And I added a teaspoon and a quarter of salt. Um, my recipe said to use your dough hook with your mixer <clears throat> and mix it for five minutes. Adding flour if you need it. You want your dough to be smooth but tacky. Yes. After the five minutes of mixing then you cover it with saran wrap and you put it in a warm place to double in size about an hour and a half. That's the dough. It's tacky, yet it's smooth. And I covered it with saran wrap. I have it in my microwave where I have it warmed. And it will stay there for an hour and a half. Once that is done, I will bring it out. And I am supposed to knead it with oily hands inside the bowl. And make sure I get oil all over the dough because it's going to be tacky. And then I put it on top of oiled saran wrap, cover it, and have it in the shape of a rectangle. And then I'm supposed to refrigerate it for one hour. The one says four minutes each side, so let's see how this works. This is a Martha Stewart one. And then um, once that's done, then it goes on to a baking sheet, and then it goes in the oven for how long? in the oven at 350. So we shall see. I'll bring you back when I flip it. Okay, I'm being very careful with the heat on this griddle. And uh, four minutes. Flip it. And then another four minutes. And then it goes in the oven for 7 to 10 and it finishes cooking. I'll bring you back. It comes out of the oven. Okay, they did say to use the uh, metal rings for English muffins, but that's not something I have on hand. <laughs> Never made these before, so that one is walking that way. Whoops, I keep hitting the camera. That one's doing beautifully. That one's doing good. That one, uh, it's undecided what it wants to do. But they have one more minute, and then they go in the oven for 7 to 10, and I'll cook the other ones as soon as these come off. I'll bring you back. So the first batch is in the oven at 350 for 7 to 10 minutes. I'm going to keep checking that. Second batch is cooking on the griddle. The first four minutes, I will flip it. 
four more minutes on the other side, and then they go in the toaster oven. And then there are two more after that. And I have to finish. I'll bring you back. Second batch. It's been flipped. They actually are doing better. They're not sliding around. So they had a little bit extra time. Well, eight minutes more to rise on the pan while they were waiting to cook them. So, yeah. But they're cooking nicely. Okay, the first batch is out of the toaster oven. They have an inter internal temperature of 190 and so now they're cooling and the second batch is in the toaster oven. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Bye-bye.